Are you looking to purchase a crawler dozer at our next Ritchie Brothers auction? These five tips will help you determine the value of your dozer and help you to avoid any costly repairs or replacement. Number one, the blade. Each type of crawler tractor blade is designed for a specific task. Whether you're inspecting a machine with an angle, straight, universal, semi-U, cushion, six-way, or push block blade, follow these general blade inspection tips. Blade face, cutting edge, and corner bits. Check the blade face for any plate lines. Plate lines are visible on blades that have been refaced, showing that excessive wear on the blade has been repaired. Check the top of the blade, the spill guard, and look for any damage caused by rocks or other heavy material. Move to the bottom side of the blade and inspect the corner bits for any signs of wear, corrosion, or welding. Inspect the cutting edge for remaining wear. Blade push arms and cylinders. Inspect the blade push arms paying close attention to the trunnion pins and caps. If the trunnion cap is loose or space is evident between the trunnion and the cap, it could be a sign of excessive wear. Check both push arms for any signs of scarring and in any case of a semi-U angle blade, check the hydraulic cylinders and rams for any scratches or dents or leaking seals. Number two, the undercarriage. As the most important part of the crawler tractor, the undercarriage is also the most expensive to repair. It's important to check both sides of the undercarriage in order to properly assess its true condition. Start with the rails, also known as chains. Reach onto the rail and feel the tops and bottoms of the bushings connecting the rail links. Determine if the bushing has an ideal rounded shape or a compressed oval shape caused from wear. Also determine if wear is evident only on the bottom or on the top of the bushing as well. If you can feel wear on the top of the bushing, that means that the pin bushings have been turned, leaving less than 50% wear life remaining. Look at the links and note remaining rail height and uneven wear patterns. Excessive spread may also indicate internal pin wear. Also check the amount of internal wear by measuring how far the slack adjuster has been extended. After checking the rails, move on to the rollers on which the rails travel. Inspect the top rollers and the bottom rollers. Look for cupping on the surface on which the rails travel. Note any damage and excessive flange wear as well. Carry on your inspection to the idlers, looking for surface wear. Check the idlers overall outer edge thickness to determine the amount of wear. As with the idlers, check condition of the sprocket segment to see if the segment teeth have taken on a sharp, pointed shape or have a noticeably thin appearance. Step back from the idler and assess the track pads. Check the thickness of the plate and the height of the grouser bar. If the grouser bar is level with the pad bolts, then you should consider either rebuilding or replacing the track pads. High drive systems. Unique to Caterpillar crawler tractors is the use of the high drive system. The high drive system drives the tracks. Check the high drive for any leaks, cracks, or any other damage that can affect performance. Don't forget to check the track frame, sway bars, and stabilizers for any scarring caused from coming into contact with hard metal or surfaces. Number three, hydraulic system and engine. Check all hydraulic cylinders for any signs of leaks or damage, including dents or scratches. Open the engine panels and check the engine for any obvious leaks, loose belts, and dirty filters. Check all fluids. Look underneath and around the machine for any signs of leaks. Number four, cab and general operation. When inspecting the cab, make note of the steering system. For example, differential steer versus fingertip controls. If the cab is enclosed, check that all the windows are intact. In the case of ROPS or other canopy style enclosures, check for any structural damage to the roof and its supports. Next, start up the machine and look at the exhaust coming from the stack, making note of any dark color, any carbon buildup, or any other signs that the engine may be due for service. Make notes of the systems including air conditioning, heating, and test their operation. Number five, rear attachments. Take the time to ensure that the rear crawler tractor attachments such as single shank or multi-shank ripper, winch, auxiliary hydraulics, or drawbar are all in good working condition. Rear attachments add value to the machine. If the machine you are planning on buying does not include a rear attachment, search our current inventory for crawler tractor attachments for sale. If you're interested in buying dozers being sold in the upcoming Ritchie Brothers on-site auctions, visit the auction site to test, inspect, and compare different models before you bid. Or see what's available for sale on Iron Planet and Marketplace E, including a large selection with Ironclad Assurance Equipment Condition Certifications.